Hey, what's up guys? Steve here again today. I know I said I was going to post a video and update from my functional medicine practitioner visit yesterday. I was having some real camera issues as far as my phone goes. I don't know what was going on, but today my camera seems to be working fine. Anyways, I got to sit down with my functional medicine practitioner. He's actually a doctor for those of you thinking anything. Um, he's a chiropractor and a holistic healer, I guess you can call him. But we got down, we sat in his office, we got down to talking and uh, looked over about half of my blood results. And the first thing he said to me was, hey Steve, I thought you were going to test your B vitamins and just your serotonin, your dopamine, etc., etc." I said I was. But my doctor gives me a sheet. And our original agreement was if I had anything else that I want to test it, I could check it off. It's kind of like a check check box, you know, um, almost almost like a Scantron sheet. There's a little box next to each thing you want, like allergens or hormones or thyroid or your um, complete blood count workup, like the stuff that shows cholesterol and red, red blood cells and white blood cells, etc., etc. Anyways, I checked off just about everything. Um, like with metals and toxins, but I'm rambling, sorry. So I sat down with him. He said I checked off a bunch of other stuff, and he wasn't ex expecting all this, but he's glad that I did because phosphorus came up, or phosphoric acid, and that's low for me. Now, I'm still waiting on serotonin and dopamine, the kind of more important ones to me, but phosphorus came up low, and... I have no idea what phosphorus is. I'm just a regular Joe. And phosphorus is actually a electrolyte. And if we've learned anything from the hundreds of Gatorade commercials we've seen over the years, electrolytes are energy. And we get them from lots and lots of sources. Except phosphorus doesn't exactly come from the most healthy of sources that I found out. And... If it doesn't come from a healthy source, it comes from a really nasty source, if it is healthy. So, things like cheese, pizza, um, soda was the number one source of phosphoric acid. And this is stuff that I've been trying to avoid. Bad things for me. Go figure. So, it could play a role into why I'm feeling down. You know, uh, I was tired. But he also looked into it, and pumpkin seeds are a huge, huge way to get your phosphoric acid up. And what was the other one? Oh, sunflower seeds. He asked me if I like sunflower seeds. I said, yeah, they're fine. And he pulled out this huge bag, like five-pound bag of pump uh, sunflower seeds out of his desk drawer. And he, he's like, you want some? I said, sure, why not? So he's munching on <laughs> sunflower seeds in his office. And his assistant comes in, his office manager. And she's like, what are you guys doing, snacking in here without me? And, I, and it was right then when it clicked to me that I'm not depressed, depressed. I'm not anxious, anxious. I'm not... I'm not exactly who I think I was in terms of mental health, in terms of how bad or how severe my anxiety or how bad or how severe my depression is. Because as soon as she said that, it instantly clicked to me for the rest of the day how much I was able to socialize and the jokes I would crack, and, you know, snappy one-liners, you know, they just the way how I used to think, how my brain used to react, how everything used to flow in my life, you know, with my personality and stuff. <clears throat> and if it wasn't for her walking in, it never would have clicked for me that I'm not as bad as I thought I was. And if you can keep your eyes open for something like that, that's definitely a huge positive because 
I know a lot of my channel is all about depression and anxiety and dealing with it and tips and tricks and vitamins and minerals and you name it but I never really thought to myself or expressed on this channel like the difference between <sighs> extreme anxiety regular anxiety extreme clinical depression and just mild to moderate depression now my I think my depression has is somewhere between mild and moderate same with my anxiety um, I think that's a good thing you know I've gotten to think to thinking I used to f just feel depressed for no apparent reason I used to just feel anxious for no apparent reason and didn't know why now that I know why you know different hormone levels and body levels and stuff like that vitamin levels are the main cause for me but now that I've been improving those, most of my feelings come from actual real life situations like not working, not having any money, my future, um, getting older, you know, getting my own place, you know, real life worries that kind of hit me down. Looking at what other people have that I don't are... Uh, most of the things that get my my mind racing, which gets my anxiety going, and when my anxiety gets high, my depression gets high, and vice versa. So, from here on out, I know that I'm not as bad as I was, and I know the changes that I've made are positive. I know the changes that I've made have brought me from about here to about here, and that's great. You know, I'm feeling better. My allergies are fucking killing me. But, just being mindful of situations, me being mindful of how I was acting with not a complete stranger, but someone I don't really know, you know, just a doctor. I was being myself. I was not depressed, Steve. I was not anxious, Steve. I was Steve. And just realizing that is huge, huge, huge brownie points for myself. And it can be brownie points for everyone else. Especially going through recovery of depression and anxiety. It's, it's tough. But seeing positive changes is awesome. Noticing them. Because sometimes you might not notice them, somebody else will. It makes it real hard for you to believe it. But when you notice it for yourself, that's excellent. Like, extremely, extremely good. There, for mental health recovery, I think that's so important. To be able to see it for yourself, feel it, actually believe it. That you are getting better, you are seeing improvement. It's a light at the end of the tunnel. So guys, I'm going to end it there, because I feel I've been rambling, and I'll uh, shoot on another video soon, but with everybody um, still out there, please keep your heads up, please keep fighting, and please keep surviving, and be well. I'll talk to you in the next video.